In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get your FPS from this to this on your screen right now. I know your struggles. I used to use a laptop with a GTX 1650, which might sound spoiled, but in reality, I wasn't able to get past 50 FPS unless I use the tricks in this video. So make sure you just watch this video till the end so you guys know everything you need to do to go ahead and get your FPS higher. And trust me, this works. I've used these tricks on numerous hardware, from extremely old and laggy hardware, such as a Windows 7 laptop, to a higher end laptop, and even my gaming PC. So watch this video till the end. Also guys, I'm going to be hiding three Robux codes in this video. Each of them will have about 5,000 Robux on them. So if you guys want to have a chance of winning the Robux, just watch the video till the end and try to find the codes. Anyway, let's hop into this. Okay, so here we are on the Roblox homepage. What we're going to want to go ahead and do first is go down to the little search bar and you guys want to type in performance. You're going to see adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Now this will be a, an available option, I think on Windows 7 all the way up to Windows 11, maybe even Windows XP, but who's using Windows XP nowadays? Anyway, we're going to click on this and you're just going to see the performance options appear on your screen. Now what you guys want to go ahead and do is you want to click on adjust for best performance. Now it's going to pretty much untick every single one of these boxes. Now as you can see I've actually ticked some of these boxes for my personal preference uh, preference because I like having windows very snappy and smooth. But if you have a really low end laptop that really can't uh, handle anything, click on adjust for best performance and then go down to the, this, these little check boxes and make sure you check show thumbnails instead of icons. If you don't do this then everything on your desktop top and folders and everything will just be a white paper icon making it really difficult to know what you're even clicking on so i'd recommend clicking on this click on apply and click ok so now your windows computer might look a little less good it might look a little crappy but honestly your windows computer will be running a lot quicker it will start quicker and it will allow you to play games a lot better Okay, the next thing is not really uh, computer wise, it's more monitor wise. So let's say you have a monitor that's higher than 60 uh, hertz and you wanna check if it is on 60, uh, if it's on the higher uh, option, go over to your desktop, right click and you're gonna click on the display settings. Now as you can see, I have two monitors connected. Click on your main monitor that you play your game on, scroll down and find the advanced display. Now for Windows 10, it might be a little bit different, but it should be the, pretty much the same process. And you're gonna see choose a refresh rate. So if you click on this, you have a bunch of different refresh rates. Now for monitors, that are capped at 60 hertz you will only have the 60 hertz and below option but my monitor is actually 144 hertz so you click on 144 hertz and your monitor might feel a lot smoother i do want to note that this may um, decrease the performance of your computer i'm not entirely sure if that's confirmed but i would try it out see which ones works better maybe if you have 120 maybe 99 75 what, what you know just different um, hertz options try those out and see which one works best now i would not go below 60 hertz as that's going to be terrible to use but just stick it on 60 hertz hertz or higher and if you have a really old crappy monitor then you're not gonna be able to use 60 hertz i guess but yeah there you go okay so the next thing you're going to do is want to go down to the search and type graphics settings you're going to see graphics settings appear right here click on that and you're going to go ahead and see this menu pop up you're going to see a lot of just random crap and what we want to do is we wanna, we wanna, we're going to want to actually go ahead and add roblox to this so we're going to go over to browse right here head over to this piss, uh, pc i said piss you're going to see this you're going to see all your different drives i have a lot of drives holy crap you're going to go ahead and click on your main drive go to program files x86 go down to roblox now if roblox is not actually in the programs files at x86 try to find it in program files as well now mine's actually on my desktop you can actually go over to the windows you want to click on users go to your your, your user right here Go down to desktop and you should be able to find roblox player just click on that and click on add now it's going to go ahead and add this click on options and click on high performance as you can see it's going to be putting it on my uh, nvidia rtx or 3050 graphics card um and now power i since now since i don't have two gpus if i put it on power saving it would still use the same one um but now for like laptops that have let's say a gtx 1060 you will have two graphics cards you will have integrated graphics which will be on the power saving and you'll also have your main GPU. If you click on high performance and click on save, and then you wanna go ahead and exit out of that. There you go, you now just made it so Windows will automatically use your best GPU. Now guys, the next tip I would use is using an FPS unlocker, but there has been an issue with it that people have been experiencing. Apparently there's a virus in it. As you can see, there's four security vendors, holy crap. So if you guys have an FPS unlocker on your computer, I really recommend you not using it as it might actually hack your PC. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the search and type disk cleanup. Now, I know a lot of people might think of this tool as scary. It's really not that scary. I used to think of it as scary, but when you know how to use it, it's really simple. So click on okay. And then it should pretty much pop up this new window. Just click on clean up your system files. Click okay again. And now it's gonna go ahead and open up a more in-depth version of disk cleanup, um, which will allow you to delete a lot more stuff. So 
want to make sure uh, Microsoft Defender Antivirus is uh, checked. Now, do not worry. This will not actually delete your antivirus. It'll delete logs from your antivirus. So make sure you click, uh, click on that. Temporary inter internet files. I recommend checking that. I'm not going to because I want to keep my internet files. And check every single other box that has storage taken. So when you do that, click on OK file. Uh, click on OK and click on delete files. It's then you go and start deleting all your files here. Okay, there we go. We just cleaned up our PC. So now you have more storage available for you guys to go out and use, which is very awesome. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to, um, to the search, type in power options. You're going to see edit power plan. Click on that. And you're going to click on power options right here at the top. And you're going to see all of this um, just random crap. Um, you want to make sure you guys have high performance um, on. Don't uh, Make sure you're not on balance. Now, for those who are using a laptop, if you really want your fans to not run like a lot, as you guys know, laptops are very loud in terms of fans. So if you put this on high performance, your computer is bound to make a lot of noise like mine used to. But if you really don't care about that and you just want performance, then click on this. But I do want to be, I just want to know that your fans will always be running. It's going to be like on instant boot up. Even if you have nothing open, you're going to have a lot of problems with the computer within the fan department. But it shouldn't really do anything to your PC, so click on high performance. All right, there we go. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down over to razor.com slash Cortex. Now this is a really, really good software that will pretty much enhance your play, uh, your gaming or whatever by boosting your system performance. Now, I know this pretty much saying on the website, but pretty much how this works is when you open up a, da a different game, let's say you open up Fortnite, for example, it'll start optimizing a bunch of files on your computer and will allow you to have the most performance out of your game. Um, so we're gonna click on download now. I actually have not downloaded this myself. So click on download. It's gonna go ahead and start installing it. Click on save and there we go. Oh yeah, so as you can see, here is what you're gonna pretty much see. You're gonna see Razor Cortex and just a bunch of random crap. You're just gonna click on install right here. Now you will need at least 229 megabytes to download. It's gonna go ahead and start installing. Then depending on your internet connection, this might take a bit to download. As you can see, it's gonna start installing this program. Now it's gonna pretty much show you a bunch of just different random games that you have on your computer. Here are just some of the different games that I have installed. What you guys are actually gonna, gonna do is gonna click on Game Booster. Click on Make Sure Auto Boost is Enabled. Now I rarely don't recommend Enable CP core but if you have a really really low end pc and you really need this turn it on but this will make it so that all your cpu's resources will go to this specific um game of whatever but yeah as you can see everything's gonna be pretty much enabled um or like a lot of things are gonna be enabled which is actually really really nice you can also turn off pro uh, you can also optimize different uh programs while you're playing so you can optimize discord obs you know nvidia some different programs. I really don't recommend this unless you guys really need it, but honestly, I don't really need it because my computer's fine. You can click on boost now if you're going to go ahead and um, start playing right now, but I'm not going to. Click on system booster right here, and then you're going to see pretty much everything is going to be enabled. Make sure your settings are like mine. Make sure you disable registry, downloaded files, and backup files. If you want to get rid of downloaded files, click on this, but I really don't recommend it, and click on scan. And now it's going to start removing a bunch of random junk files from your computer, which will save you a ton of storage, and I love this program for that because it will allow you guys to go ahead and just remove one. So yeah, see, I just, just removed 2.65 gigabytes of random crap on my PC and 33 items were removed, which is pretty awesome. So click on clean right here and it's going to go ahead and start deleting all of those things. There you go. Congratulations. Click on done. And then you can go, just go ahead and close that out. It'll always be open in the background right here. Okay. So the next thing really doesn't matter, but it's really good to know. You want to go down, right click on here, click on task manager. And it's going to go ahead and open up the task manager. Now just go ahead and start end ta uh, ending a lot of the tasks you don't need. So for example, gas app, I'm just going to go ahead and end these tasks right here. You really don't need them, but even though they're taking no resource, they're taking some of my memory actually. So I'm going to go ahead and end these tasks so I can get the most out of my computer. There we go. Remove some different ones. Now, I really don't recommend removing NVIDIA, Microsoft, Windows, any of those like service hosts. Don't remove any of these. Don't remove anything under the Windows process. Don't remove any Windows things. Remove things that are like programs. For example, private internet access, which is a VPN I use. And that task, if you really need to, I don't need to. But just get rid of some of the pro, um, programs you guys are using, you, um, you guys are, um, have open, and then you can go ahead and close out of that. Okay, guys, the next and final tip is hopping into a game. So I'm just gonna hop into Doors, which is one of my favorite games, by the way. L Splash, you guys are amazing. Release floor two, though, please. Open up this, and as you can see, it's gonna already start optimizing your stuff. As you can see, there we go. We're getting a ton of RAM release. Okay, so now that we're actually in game, you guys are gonna go ahead and do these things. You're gonna actually uh, hit escape or hit the little Roblox button. Click on settings and you're gonna see graphics mode. Make sure it is on a manual. Once you guys are on manual, you wanna drag this all the way down. This will pretty much make your graphics the lowest it possibly can go. This will actually boost your FPS a ton. Now manual, pretty much this will put it on the halfway point, which is right here. 
Um, you want to drag that all the way down. Um, and there you go. You guys are going to have a lot more FPS on your computer due to these tips. If you guys need a lot more tips on how to boost your FPS, if this didn't really help you guys out, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be uh, glad to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, did you guys find any of the Robux gift cards I hid in this video? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.